Welcome to the first JoJo's Bizarre Rumble. I'm your host here today, Carl Moose, as we watch this lady talk off for no fucking reason because I turned off voices. Um, so basically how it's going to work is that at the beginning of the match, there's going to be two fighters in the ring. And at certain interval of times, I don't know, like, I think it's 30 seconds, I'm pretty sure, a new fighter is going to come in the ring. If a fighter gets knocked out of the ring and touches the floor, they are out. And at the end, we're, we're going to have a single winner, technically. But what we're going to do is we're going to have two winners. Oh, and we have Silver Chariot coming in straight from Polnareff. He's uh, a stand that basically uses incredible speed with a sword. Uh, we see him right now coming down the aisle with his beautiful armor. He doesn't have a sword, sadly, because this game doesn't allow swords. And also because uh, that would be dangerous. But uh, we see a truly ter terrifying foe with that armor. He's got to have an advantage over people with no armor, that's for sure. Question is, will we see Silver Chariot fight Paul Arif himself? Or maybe he'll be lucky and they'll fight together? Who knows? saying uh, at, uh, we're gonna have two winners at the end because after that we're gonna have a total of five Royal Rumbles and we're gonna have an all-star one with all the winners there's a total of 10 participants by the way I don't know if I mentioned that so we should see our next fighter really soon it is Kakyoin the donut man himself oh my god he's got his glasses on look at that swagger as he comes down the aisle he's looking in the crowd for any milfs he can find what a gentleman, look at him, oh wow, truly a beautiful sight. And I know what you might be thinking at home, uh, but how is a human gonna fight a stand? Well, let me tell you what, this is truly a bizarre rumble, as we're gonna see stand users fight stands, and also, uh, we might also see uh, some just regular humans that shouldn't be able to see stand fight stands. So, that's always gonna be interesting. So Kakuin is a Japanese man, Japanese teenager actually, that was a student and that embarked on a trip along with the Star Stardust Crusaders to defeat Dio. And now we see him back in the ring, ready to show what he's got in store. So now that we have our two first participants, we are ready to start the fight. Kakuin is warming up. Alright, so let's go. Oh, Silver Chair throwing Kakuin to the floor. No respect, oh my god, trying to make a hole- Oh, he kicked him in the groin! I was about to say he was trying to make a hole in his stomach, Dio style, but... Oh, Kakuin fighting back with a single punch. Kakuin throwing Silver Chariot in the corner. Oh, oh my god, ladies and gentlemen. He broke Silver Chariot's back. Oh, Silver Chario breaking Kekuin's back, right back. Two, one, and our next fighter is... He's coming out of the ring right now. Oh my god, I don't believe it. Can you believe it? It's Speedwagon! Speedwagon is coming in the ring! Fighting in alongside Silver Chariot. Oh my god, Kekuin fights both of them. Speedwagon, founder of the Speedwagon Foundation. Originally a Joe Bro to Jonathan Joestar. Now he's back in his prime years with his beautiful blonde locks and he's ready to fight in the JoJo's Bizarre Rumble. He stares as the two fight, not wanting to intervene. He's probably commenting himself like he did in like, just the anime and the manga, but it's okay, he's trying his best. Oh my god, the backbreaker from Kakyoin. Oh, the next fighter is coming down the aisle right now, he's running down. Who's it gonna be, ladies and gentlemen? Oh! My god, it's Jotaro Kujo! Oh, Speedwagon! Speedwagon didn't take any second and threw him to the floor. Oh my- He lifted Jotaro! Speedwagon lifted Jotaro! Oh, Kakyo is trying to help his bro out. Lifting up. Oh my god, Speedwagon is dead, ladies and gentlemen. There's no way he can recover from that. Oh, Kakyo isn't stopping. Oh my god, a punt to the back. So we see Silver Chariot fighting. Jotaro trying to kick him out the ring. Will this be an early elimination for Jotaro? No, he comes back in the ring. 
Oh my god. We see absolute violence everywhere. Oh my god. Kaku win breaking. Oh, our next fighter is coming down the aisle right now. Who is it gonna be? Is it gonna be another stand? It's Boldarev! Oh my god! The French man himself! He's here to help Silver Chaga or to fight him. That's what we'll see pretty soon. Silver Chad is using it. Oh! We had a bit of a glitch right there. Bolnar Ref is just standing by, warming his shoulder up. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, he's trying to stop Jotaro. Oh no! He's working alongside Jotaro to kick out Silver Chaya. He's working against his own stand. During that time, Silver uh, Speedwagon and Kakuin are fighting toe to toe, destroying each other slowly but surely. Oh my god! Silver Chad holds on barely, still in the ring, and our next fighter is coming down the ring. We'll now have our sixth fighter in the ring, which means we won't be able to have another one until one gets knocked out. It's Zawardo! Oh shit! This is it, boys. Only two stands in the ring and a bunch of humans. Zawardo is gonna make easy pickings out of these guys. Oh my god, Kakuin is coming in after throwing Speedwagon. Oh, Jotaro is kicking. Oh! Silver Chad helped his stand user by punching Jotaro in the back of the head. Kakuin is beating up Zawarudo as a revenge. He's punching him in the face for when he got killed. I don't believe my own eyes. This is an incredible fight. No one's being kicked out. Oh, Speedwagon might be out. Speedwagon in the world. Oh no, Speedwagon, Speedwagon, hold on! And Speedwagon is out, ladies and gentlemen! He's the first one to be knocked out! What a sad sight! Oh, what a shame! Speedwagon will now lose all of his money because who wants to be part of a foundation that's led by a loser? Polnareff is just laid out right now. He's not moving. Oh! He got back up. Oh my god, so I would just kick. I'm going to face- OH JOTARO just threw Silver Chair in the air like he was a wet towel and now he's doing the crocodile roll the crocodile roll Polar F is stuck in the corner he can't do anything so what are the- OH MY GOD this is truly truly a terrific fight right that we see right here the JoJo's Bizarre Rumble OH so what are the- OH MY GOD Kakuin reversed it Kakuin the champ reversed it Oh, Silver Chariot and Polar F working together to try to throw Jotaro out. And our next fighter is coming in right now. Could it be Star Platinum coming in to help Jotaro? It is Stroheim! As Kakuin is knocked out the ring, Stroheim, the German stallion, comes in. Oh my god, he's possessed. He's here to show us that the German medicine is the be greatest medicine in the world. Stroheim, as you might know. He is one of the... well, he's actually the one that was in charge of the Mexico operation that saw Santana woken up. One of the early pillar men, but that was then found out to be merely but a, a, a child, as we as um, the other pillar men called him. But Stroheim is here with a revenge. Kakuin has been knocked out, as I said. So that means that we are still down to five, so we'll get another fighter. Zawarudo! Oh my god! Zawarudo used the tower move. He grabbed Jotaro in the air and slammed him down. Silver Chad is coming in though. Not willing to let that happen. Only in JoJo's Bizarre Rumble will you see a Nazi get pummeled on in a ring. Our next fighter is coming down there. They are right now. It's Star Platinum! Holy shit! Oh, he's going right for the Zawarudo! Holy shit! He's trying to crush his head. Oh my god! There's too much happening in the ring right now. There's just too much. Oh, the jump by Stroheim! Absolutely destructive kick. Will we see him do a German suplex? Ooh, Star Platinum is showing us that he's got raw power, and that his raw power is in totally incredible. Oh, Jotaro's on the edge, fights back Silver Chariot. Polar is in the corner with Stroheim bump humping him. 
Throwing Stromheim over the ropes. Oh! We just saw Stop Letting Him do his fa famous Ora Ora on Zawarudo. Oh, he's going again. Oh my god! Oh my god! Stromheim is on the ropes. Still holding on though. Stop Letting Him is really just going for Zawarudo, and Zawarudo is doing the same. Oh no! Stop Letting Him is on the ropes. But with those muscles, I doubt he's gonna let go of those ropes anytime soon. Oh, the the reverse by Jotaro. Oh no! Paul Narev has been knocked out. Stroheim has knocked out the Frenchman. The Nazis are victorious against France yet again. Oh, Stroheim is doing his little dance. This is insane. This is insane. Oh my god, for a second there, I thought that the world was going to be knocked out by Jotaro with a punt to the head. Oh, Silver Chad is fighting Starfleet on the ropes. Oh, we saw Jotaro and Starfleet do the same move with a bit of delay, but it was the same counter. Oh my god. So we're about to see... We have two fighters left to come in the ring. Who are they gonna be? I mean, you should have a, a pretty good idea who is it gonna be, but... Oh! There's music playing! It's Yellow Phantom Green! He just came in the ring with his own music. This isn't supposed to happen, ladies and gentlemen. Your Fanta Green is breaking the rule and he's going straight for Silver Chariot. Somebody, somebody cut out this music. Thank you. Your Fanta Green is going straight for Silver Chariot, but that's just not going to be enough. That's just not going to be enough. Oh! Stop that enough. Knocks out Stroheim. The German Stallion is out of the ring. I guess German medicine is not the greatest. Oh, Zawarudo is gonna... He's doing... He's doing squat with Jotaro! Oh my god! What incredible strength! Star Platinum got Silver Chariot under the ropes. He's gonna try to push him out. Oh! This isn't looking good for Silver Chariot. He's not even holding to the rope. His knee is the only thing holding me on. Oh my god! Yellow Phantom Green is already knocked out! And Silver Chariot too! I don't believe it! Yellow Phantom Green is such a fucking worthless fighter! He barely got in the ring and he's already knocked out! Oh, Jotaro is doing a stunt while Star Platinum is knocking out Zawarudo. Zawarudo is knocked out! Oh my god! Jotaro is not happy. That was his kill. It's Stand User versus Stand. Oh my god. I don't believe it. If I wouldn't believe it if I didn't see it with my own eyes. We got three eliminations in a row. Silver Chara followed by Aero Phantom Green and now the world. Leaving two fighters in the ring. But there's still one fighter that remains and it's one of the greatest foes and here he is it's the man himself the immortal the vampire Dio Brando oh kicking Star Platinum right to the head Dio Brando bring in his own, his own music too not following the rules whatsoever I don't believe it he's just Arranging his bracelets, I guess. He's not fighting yet. He's letting them kill each other for some reason. Oh, well, I guess that's pretty typical of video. Oh, he's going straight for Soft Lightning. He saw a window and he took it. Will Jotaro just stand by? He seems pretty hurt. But will he stand by as Dio knocks out his own stand? <laughs>
ladies and gentlemen, your JoJo's Rumble, Bizarre Rumble 1 winner is Dio Brando. The second victor that will also come, that was, took a place in the JoJo's Bizarre Rumble All-Star is Jota Rokujo. But your official winner of the first JoJo's Bizarre Rumble is Dio Brando.